Hi everyone, I'm Sarthuk from FTC Team 9794 Wizards.exe. This will be the fifth video in our OpenCV for FTC tutorial series, and this video will walk through how to use an external web camera for vision detection. This video will have two parts. The first part will be setting up the webcam in the configuration file, and the second part will be writing an op mode that uses the webcam to detect objects and other vision targets. So why don't we go ahead and get started with the configuration portion of this tutorial. Here I've set up an example connection between a phone, a webcam, and the Rev Expansion Hub. Now, the webcam we are using is the Logitech C310. It is a 720 pixel webcam, which we used in competition for the Rover Ruckus season. We've pasted the Amazon link in the description below so you guys can check it out if you want to purchase it. Now, in order to connect the phone to both the webcam and the expansion hub, we need to use a USB hub so it can receive signals from both of them. Now we're using the Amazon Basics USB hub, which we've also linked in the description below. One thing to note with the USB hub is that at the end of the power cable, we, it needs to be snipped off because we have to solder a 5 volt connection. And this 5 volt connection is used to feed into the Rev Expansion hub so that the USB hub can receive power. Now you can see here that I have a USB cable running from the Expansion hub, and now I'm going to plug it into the USB hub. And then we also have a USB cable running from the webcam, which we're now going to plug into the USB hub. And you can see over here that the USB hub has an outgoing USB cable, which I've plugged into an OTG cable, which feeds into the phone. So now the phone can receive signals over USB from both the Rev Expansion Hub and the webcam. Uh, now that we have all of this set up, we can add the webcam to the robot configuration file. To configure the webcam, you can either edit the configuration you already have for your robot, or you can create a new one. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the configuration screen on my robot controller app and make a new configuration. Now when you scan for new devices, you should see two tabs. The first one should be the expansion hub portal, but the second one should be the webcam. I'm just going to go ahead and press webcam. Now you see this name over here at the top of the screen. You go ahead and click that. Now it's going to be the name that you use for the hardware map configuration when you're programming the web camera. You can either change it or leave it the same. I'm going to go ahead and change it just to say webcam with all lowercase letters. Now you can go ahead and press done to save the configuration. And I'm going to go ahead and call my configuration vision tutorial. Now once you've saved the configuration, the webcam has been properly configured in your configuration file. Now we can go ahead and program an off mode in Android Studio to use the webcam for vision detection. Now that we have all of our configuration ready to go, we should be ready to start programming. So over here you can see I have my Android Studio project open, which I've been using in previous tutorials for the Doge CV trainings. Now, uh, for our webcam, we're going to use the example op mode that's been provided by the Doge CV library. So if you've already downloaded Doge CV and followed through the rest of the videos, you should have the, uh, your example op modes over here under the examples folder in your Doge CV library folder. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy the webcam testing class. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And I'm going to go back to Android Studio and paste it into my team code package. If you're unable to find um, the webcam testing op mode, uh, alternatively, you could go to Doge CV GitHub page. And under the examples page, you can download the webcam uh, sample op mode over here and also paste that into your Android Studio file. Okay, now that we have our Viforia webcam testing class into our Android Studio program, I'm just going to walk through quickly what this op mode is doing here. So this op mode is designed to use the webcam and it's similar to the Doge Foria stuff we did in video 4. It's going to be able to use a detector as we can see here in this case the example class is using the gold align detector but um, as we can see here and down below we're going to also going to initialize the Vforia aspect of this so that we can read Vforia targets using the webcam now in this video I'm only going to show the webcam detecting the gold mineral but this uh, sample op mode that has been provided has the capability of detecting both of them now you can see here the first thing that we have is the webcam name and this is where we're using that hardware map name that we went through when we were configuring the webcam. Now, you have to make sure you have the right device name. For mine, I typed in webcam into the configuration file of all lower cases. So I just want to make sure that it matches the hardware map configuration name inside the program. 
Now as we scroll down, we can see this is the Vuforia initialization code, which continues down over here. And right before we start the program, we have set up our detector and start our Vuforia stuff. So over here, we're using a gold line detector, which I walked through in some of our previous videos. And this will be what we'll be using in the example class. Now you can always change the type of detector you're using. So if you want to use a custom detector or simply a different type of detector, you can change the type over here and you'll have to change some of the initialization code, but it should still be compatible with the webcam. So once you have all this set up um, and you've properly named your op mode, uh, you can go ahead and download it to your um, Android phone. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my robot controller phone. And here it pops up. And now I'm just going to go ahead and download the sample op mode. All right, so once you have your code downloaded, you can go ahead and open up your op mode. So in my driver station app, I'm just going to go ahead and select my Vuforia webcam testing tutorial op mode. And you can go ahead and initialize it. And so you see on my right side of my screen, I have my robot controller phone being mirrored. And you can see that after I initialize the code, you can see that the gold align detector is being active and returning data from the webcam. I'm going to go ahead and press play on my op mode. Now you can see that the webcam is updating the image frames and that the detector is responding with the appropriate data. So it's saying that the gold minerals within the desired range. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, it's also returning an X coordinate which is changing as I move the detector side to side. Now you can also see that when I move the webcam, I rotate it a little bit. It's also updating that image frame. And so one important thing to make sure is that when you press the initialize and play button on your robot controller, sorry, on your driver station phone, uh, at least with this particular webcam, there should be a green light next to the uh, lens of it. So if that light is not on, the webcam either isn't receiving power or it's not returning a signal, which means that you won't be able to update your uh, image frames to analyze for an uh, object you want to detect. So if you're using this particular webcam, you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that um, that green light is on. But otherwise, everything else seems to be working pretty well. Now, as we talked about in the previous videos, you can add telemetry data to um, your program. So if you want to return stuff like the X and Y information, you can add that as telemetry data into this into this uh, loop right over here, as right before this telemetry.update statement. This way, if you want to get additional information or if you want to troubleshoot anything going on with your webcam, it's the perfect way to do it. So just for your information, you're able to add that information over here that we covered in previous videos. So this concludes our fifth video in this OpenCV for FTC tutorial series. If you had any issues with this process with either setting up the webcam through the uh, configuration or with the programming part, uh, please let us know in the comments and we'll respond to your questions. If you have any other suggestions for videos you would like us to see, for uh, that you guys would like to see, please also let us know in the comments. One additional thing I would like to mention is that um, on our GitHub page, so at github.ftc, uh, slash FTC9794. We've actually um, uploaded this entire project so you can see um, a completely set up Doge CV Android Studio project and also includes all the example op modes we walked through. Thank you guys for watching.